Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi math friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're working on the fraction decimal percent. And let's take a look at what it says here. So write the number in two other forms, fraction, decimal, or percent. Then write the fraction in simplest form. Ooh, I want to remember that, so I'm going to underline it. Let's take a look. So we have this fraction and this ratio as well that we can use that term, but it's 13 over 40, and I'm like, well, I think I'm just going to use just standard long division. Just I have 13, and it's going to be divided by 40. I know that 13 is not divisible by 40, so I'm going to have to add a decimal here. I'm going to put a zero and a decimal just so that it, I know where my decimal point goes, and just put it right here just for the heck of it. So I'm going to add a zero. If I just look at it, not with a decimal, but 130, well, 2 times 40 is 80 plus another 40. If I do 3 times 4, 40 is going to be 120. And I have to put that 3 up here above that. And I still have a remainder. It's not a true decimal coming out here. So I can add another 0. And I know that 2 times 40 is 80. So I have 0 0.32 right now. Oops, bring that 0 here. So 80. And that's going to give me 0. And two, ooh, I see a solution here. Let me bring down that zero here. I add another zero. So 200 is divisible by 40 because five times four is 20, and then times that 10 here, it's gonna give me 200. So I'm gonna put that five up here, and that's gonna give me 200. And zero remainder. So 0 0.325, that is the decimal. So we figured that out. and. I have it here as well. And once it's in decimal form, it's very easy to make it into a percent because I grab that decimal point and I take it over one, two, and second right here. And that's going to give me my percent. So three, two, point five, or 32.5 percent. Isn't that easy? Let's clean it up. So we have our two answers here in decimal and in percent. Let's look over here. So 0 0.08 equals, and I can get that into a percent again, so it's got there, one, two, so I have eight percent. That was quick. Now, but what's the fraction for that? Well, the fraction, if we look here at our decimal again, that is equal to eight hundredths, so eight over one hundred, but wait, are we done? No, because it says here, write the fraction in the simplest form. All right, so now I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, I know that 4 goes into 8 two times, so this is going to be equal to 2. And then I know that 100 divided by 4 is 25. So I have 2 25ths that makes my fraction. Okay, so you see that, that relationship again. It's 8 divided by 4 and 100 divided by 4 because we're dividing the top and bottom by 4. And that's how we get that 2 25ths. Next video is going to be some word problems. Till next time, remember... To be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.